case, man. Looking a little spent there. Yeah. Burning Man? Yeah. Still Went recovering. Tore it up a little bit. Great week. You know what? I got away from everything. I didn't think about football at all. <laughs> what? No. Come on, dude. Not at all? No. No, I'm not buying it. I had a fantasy draft on the playa. See? I knew it. And? I'm probably facing a four-game suspension. <laughs> You're watching the Football Radio Show. We're not the suits that talk football. We're the dudes that know football. Here's your hosts, Casey and Dave. Hello and welcome to the Football Radio Show. I'm Casey. And I'm Dave. And this is the Sunday Six Pack. It's where Dave and myself go back and uh, take care of six of the tastiest storylines from the NFL. Mm. Mm. That That's is good. good. Yeah. Dave, speaking of good, the defending <laughs> Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks. They're really good. They dismantled the Packers 36 to 16. Yeah, very impressive performance by obviously a great defense. They really took care of Aaron Rodgers and that revamped Packers running game. And on the other side of the football, Marshawn Lynch just beast. going beast mode as always. Great blocking up front. Very efficient performance from Russell Wilson. Just Elite. what we expect. Uh, a domination, not really on all levels, uh, you know, of the of the game there. Yeah. It was awesome. Strong and speaking game. of awesome. Sunday's 10-pack of games in the morning, wow. dude. Wow. Some great football games in there, including two that went to overtime. Yeah, the Bills go into Chicago. They beat the Bears 23-20 <laughs> wow. to in overtime. There was talk about a quick hook for EJ. He Not went and he delivered. And then the Saints at the Falcons, dude. The Falcons win 37-34. This game was back and forth. Wow. Some way to start the season. Yeah, after last year with the Falcons and all the injuries and stuff, terrible season, they bounce back strong, beating Divisional rival Saints here, big win, get their momentum going. And the Bills, man, I mean, one of the most impressive wins of the yeah. weekend to me was the Bills beating the Bears. The Bears, I think, are going to have a great offense this year. Bills take care of business there. Yeah, and speaking of the Bills, dude, the way too early to overreact. Right. But the Patriots are all alone in last place in the AFC East. Yeah. <laughs> they lose to the Dolphins. The Jets beat the Raiders, and you mentioned the Bills. Yeah. Uh, it's too soon to, to say Tom Brady sucks. Yeah. Don't retire, Tom. You're all right. Uh, too soon to overreact, like you said. The Patriots are going to be fine, but big win for the Dolphins. Got to give yeah. them a lot of credit. Uh, you know that it wasn't fluky. They they really they outplayed them and they Strong. deserve that win. So it was very impressive. Okay, Casey. Up next, it's our fantasy points on the bench segment. Who you got? FOB, baby. <laughs> well, <laughs> shortly after I was ridiculed for even drafting this guy, and it was a late <laughs> pick. I'll give you that. Mark Ingram, dude, sixty yards rushing, but two touchdowns. And I did play Drew Brees, actually. Oh, yeah, good choice. Saints points, only one touchdown. Dude. Yeah. Got, well, for right. me, it was Steve Smith Sr. playing uh, for the Ravens there with an 80-yard touchdown reception. Boom, right there. I was freaking out on my bench. But <laughs> shortly thereafter, Jeremy Macklin, the guy put in instead, uh, grabs a 68-yard touchdown pass. So sort of balances that out. Well, speaking Fixed of Macklin it. and those Philadelphia Eagles, like us, almost half of the country picked the Eagles to win in their survival pools. Yep. Not looking so good at the beginning, dude. <laughs> Squirming. 17 nothing. I'm watching that money go away, but yeah. the Eagles finish strong. Yeah. They end up not only winning, but they hit that 10 and a half, too. Yeah, amazing performance. You know, the Jaguars took care of uh, business early, capitalizing on some mistakes that the Eagles were making, turning the ball over and stuff. Mm -hmm. But the Eagles stuck to it, really shut down the Jaguars in the second half, scored 34 un unanswered points, and they are all alone in first place in the NFC East. Well, hopefully it stays that way after Monday night. But Dave, <laughs> how did they get all alone? Casey, man. You were squirming all week, getting ready for this big game. Niners, Cowboys, man. Cowboys got themselves in a hole early. Yeah, opening uh, drive, DeMarco Murray fumbles. The Niners Back score the a touchdown. And then he actually started to run the ball well, man. Yeah. We drove all the way down the field. Second and one from the 49er two. Run it, punch it in. They decide the pass. Romo drops back, gets sacked for a nine-yard loss. And then in the second quarter, baby, driving again. Third chance. Goal from the 49ers' five-yard line. Run it in. Using all those draft picks on offensive linemen. Going to dominate. Going to stick with Power the Power football. Year. That's right. <laughs> Romo throws an interception, dude, on first and goal. One of oh, three of the day. That was a bad decision. Terrible decision by Romo. Even worse decision not to run the ball there, man. Yeah. DeMarco Murray gets touches. Good things happen. Yeah, he was having a very productive day. Uh, just 
for some reason, they go away from them at the wrong time, man. Yeah, and I don't know if those points would have made the difference, but the game would have been a lot closer and it yeah. forced the Niners to do so. It's hard to dig out of a hole that you got yourself into there. So, yeah, it could have been a different game. The good thing about the NFL, there is always next week. And That's right. And early next week, come back for the Trend Zone. You're going to dig that. <laughs> it's a brand new show. That's right. And if you subscribe to the free podcast on iTunes, It'll be right there waiting for you. Boom. Super easy. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the Sunday Six Pack. I'm Casey. And I'm Dave. And this is the Football Radio Show. We'll catch you next time.